What do you make of this call from Morgan Stanley that we could see a recession within a year if we get those tariffs implemented on $300 billion of Chinese goods, China retaliates? Yeah, I would agree with that assessment. Actually, for, for us, we have turned more cautious on our macroeconomic outlook because of the increase in trade tension. Basically, uh, the risk is that uh, we are heading towards a more stagflationary economic scenario because we are seeing higher tariff, which means high inflation. And at the same time, this higher tariff would lead to weaker economic growth. So that's stagflationary, def which is uh, very negative. And also, we could be facing uh, the trade war in three uh, aspects, US-China, US, Mexico, and potentially US and Europe. So that could have huge implication on global su supply chain and the market sentiment. So uh, if all these play out, uh, if tariffs are hiked, uh, I think uh, that could well be a case that we're heading into a recession. But it's still not our base case at the moment. Mm. So, Janet, that's not your base case, but the question the world wakens up to this morning and over the weekend is the veracity of any deal you sign with this administration can be ripped up at a heartbeat because of what the president did with Mexico. Are we underassuming the propensity of risk to Japan and Europe in a trade dimension? Yeah, I think right now market is still, I mean, it's down, but it's still relatively benign. So I think it's not reflecting all the risk associated with uh, trade with multiple nations at the moment. So I think you're right. I think currently uh, markets are kind of underestimating the risk and they're sort of very targeted in their sell-off at the moment to companies that are more exposed to Mexico and China. So it's not a broad-based sell-off yet. So I think there is a risk that uh, things could deteriorate because uh, Trump could be erratic. But equally, uh, the result is so bad because uh, Trump could equally well, may well sign some trade deals with China in the next six months or so. So it is very difficult to call, but I would agree the risk is still to the downside at the moment. Who has most to lose globally, economically, if the trade war escalates? So obviously, it countries with high trade exposure would be heavily impacted. I think China on the headline level will be impacted quite sharply. So if all the tariffs are being implemented on all goods traded, then we estimate an impact of 0.6% GDP, whereas for the US it will probably be around 0.2%. And of course, if the Mexican uh, trade war goes ahead and raising the tariff up to 25%, that will be hugely impactful to Mexican economy. It will probably tip into recession because it's so heavily ex uh, exposed to the U.S. economy. So, and uh, also because of the uh, global supply chain, I think uh, a lot of Asian economies being exposed to China will be heavily impacted. That will include countries like uh, China, Malaysia, South Korea as well.